strategy that we had coming into this uh, was we were basically planning to, um, to build a uh, large tetrahedron at the bottom. And we were planning originally to do that for 20 minutes, but plans changed. Um, and once we did that, we were planning on building relatively straight up with triangles with supporting cross braces, um, which worked for the most part, except our tower leaned a little bit. But it worked. <laughs> I'm Andrew. I'm Margo. I'm Daniel. And we're Team UA. Uh, so we uh, <laughs> actually focused on a bit of a hexagonal base, and we kept it small, which gave us time to really quickly build up, whereas a lot of other teams built a very large base, which made them have to take yeah. a lot of time to go directly into the Yeah, because he uh, hexagons are built out of you know lots of triangles, and that's sh that shows up in like a lot of architecture. It's a traditional so, structure. Yeah, so we decided to go with that. Um, and because we had such an narrow base, we were able to build up a lot higher well, really quickly. Uh, we ended up with a lot of extra yeah, supplies. We, it was kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> even considering that some of our teammates might have eaten some of them, we still we had a little leftovers. Bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> only it was really more. tasty, though. <laughs> oh, in fairness. So for our strategy for the Tower of Power, we originally started with a hexagonal base, and we wanted to work vertically with triangular pyramids. Um, strangely, on the second level, we made a mistake in our placement of the marsh marshmallows and therefore we ended up with more nodes, but this was a happy coincidence because it gave us more nodes to work with and gave us more room to work vertically. Um, so even though we did have a strategy going in from using our engineering talents, ultimately I, th I think a lot of it has to be accredited to dumb luck, but you know, that's the way life works sometimes.